Hello, well, welcome back everybody. It's your old man, Mark Price. And today we're gonna go ahead and install this carbon fiber inner, inner gear shift panel to my vehicle. Right now I got the factory style dark gray or black trim. It's not even uh, leather, it's just plastic. So I wanted to add this to it. And as you're looking at it, you'll notice a thick 3M tape. That is what I placed in this because it only came with that thin red 3M tape that you see there. It doesn't do justice. You're gonna need that thick, tape um, especially if you don't want it to pop up or you don't want it to move around because once that little thin line red tape uh, 3m tape gets stuck onto your uh, trim level it's not going to stick for long look how thin it is you want it thick and you want to make sure that it's going to be there for a while right, again i wanted it because i wanted to match my carbon fiber uh, trim panel the ones on the dashboard so this is just going to look beautiful especially with the black gloss wrap that i did on the inner gear shift Back. So I'm going to go ahead and install the uh, carbon fiber gear shift panel, the one that goes right over here as the clip that you just saw. But before I do that, I want to um, get a compressed air can so I can let all this dust out because it is very dusty here. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off. Most importantly, make sure that you add extra 3M tape as I did, because you wanna make sure the corners of this trim get stuck onto the uh, piece into the vehicle. There is one thing I wanna mention. If your 3M tape or your product that you're using that already has a 3M tape, if this has been in the cold for so long, you're gonna need a heat gun and warm it up. Mine's been in inside the house for a couple of days now so this 3m tape is warm and it's good to um to bond onto your unit here but if you can take a heat gun and just warm up this area get an air can to uh dust off all that dust and debris that's on that panel but i'm going to go ahead and just put it in there make sure that you start from let me just be careful make sure that you start from this section right here apply pressure now because i put 3m tape right here on this side as well on this side right here it did not come with it i installed this this size because it's thicker you're gonna have to hold both hands and spread it out so that it doesn't touch this area yet make sure you put pressure here first and then so just expand the sides out so it doesn't touch anything and then once this is firm then you're gonna go ahead and apply pressure on both sides so i'm gonna do that now all right there you go it actually came out great. That looks nice. Thank goodness I went with black gloss and not the uh, carbon fiber. Because then it would have been tacky carbon fiber here and carbon fiber here. And now my next project is going to be to... Uh, to uh, install the um i might put some uh those led uh, ambient lights here it's like strings i might do that here if not i'm definitely putting it here definitely putting it here and over here but i'm debating if i should put it under here i might adjust mine but either way this looks beautiful all right so i'm going to go ahead and record this now during the daytime so you can have a better view of it but I uh, love it. And there you go. It is now morning. Take a look at this. Ooh -wee. And now I'm gonna get started with the uh, 3M, excuse me, not the 3M, the, uh, the ambient lights. All right, let's see. So what I plan on doing is putting the ambient light right around this around here not around here just the outer parts just the outer parts here and then like i said before around there under each trim level the carbon fiber trim it's gonna look really good i mainly want to do the blue version i know this, that kit comes with different colors but i just wanted to light up blue now what you're looking at here is pretty much the way my interior looked before I did anything. The only thing that you're gonna see visible is the um, the aluminum uh, foot pedals. 
That's the only thing that I've done to it at this time of this clip, but everything else was pretty much stock. There was no trims, nothing that I've done to it. As you can see that I'm pointing on to the uh, red button because at that time I didn't have it. Those carbon fiber trim panels were not even there yet because I didn't wrap them. Um, what else? The uh, wireless charging pad was not even in there yet. One of my next future project will be the um, shift paddles.